good morning in this uh, lesson we will discuss abstract classes actually one of the uh, main concepts of object oriented programming is abstraction there are some other concepts object oriented programming concepts like inheritance polymorphism encapsulation those are the details we already covered in our previous lessons now we are going to discuss about abstraction abstraction is a concept of hiding the internal details of the functionality and providing the representation of the same that means let's say in a java class you have methods so now we are going to say what is that method is going to do not how the method will do the functionality the operation so how will be hidden only the what will be shown that's the idea of abstraction an example you are all using mobile phones these days is it but we don't know how the functionalities of the mobile phone is 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 it's happening like for example you make a call how the call is connecting your phone with the destination the receiver's phone or you are sending a message or receiving a message how the message is sent from sender to the receiver the technology the functionality we don't know we only know the functions we don't know how the functions are implemented okay similarly you drive a car and you do changes change the gears so when you want to go in a high speed you set a uh, one particular gear when you want to go in a low speed you change to another gear when you want to reverse the vehicle you change to some other gear but you know the gear i mean you know the gears i mean to say the what are the gears what are the functionalities of each and every gear for high speed for low speed for reversing but you don't know how the gear box works internally okay same thing in java we write method to perform some functionality inside a class we write many methods each method does some functions okay so we can expose it to the outside world just providing what is the name of the functions what is the de mean to say the what the function is going to do that's it how the function is going to perform the uh, functionality it's hidden okay so we hide the internal implementation of the method that means uh, abstract it inside a method fine that's the idea of abstraction so we can achieve abstraction in two different ways either we use the abstract class or interface so let's discuss abstract class interface will be covered in the next um, lesson abstract class actually it's just a normal java class but there is a small difference here a class which may contain or which will contain one or more methods that doesn't have a body the body means the implementation of the method that means the definition okay so that is the idea of a class abstract class abstract class is a class that contains maybe one or more abstract methods what do you mean by abstract method a method with no body no implementation that is what you call abstract method okay so abstract class in java is created using the keyword call abstract when you write the class definition we normally write public class employee this is a normal java class when you are writing an abstract class you need to write the keyword abstract like public abstract class employee something like that we will see one example in after few minutes okay if you make any class as an abstract then it can't be instantiated that means let's say you have an abstract class called employee you cannot create an employee object because it contains abstract methods what do you mean by abstract method a method with no implementation so this is an incomplete class so how can you create an object out of the incomplete class that's not possible okay so inside an abstract class we declare abstract method as well as concrete method concrete method means a complete method method with the signature and the body implementation that's what you call concrete method 
An abstract method means it contains only the method signature with no implementation. Okay. So, using abstract class, we can achieve 0 to 100 percent abstraction. Okay. Abstract class is a type can have variable whose type is an abstract class can have parameter whose type is in an abstract class. That we will see in the example. Variables, parameters, etc. So let's see the abstract class uh, over, I mean a review of the abstract class. We discussed what is an abstract class few minutes ago, last slide. So just put a summary of it. Abstract class. If a class is abstract, it can't be used to create object. We saw it. There are mainly, so they are mainly used as super class. Why I'm telling super classes? Just now I mentioned that abstract class contains abstract methods. What is an abstract method? Abstract method is a method with no implementation. Only the signature is there, method heading. Only the method heading is there, no body. When you have a method which doesn't have an implementation, it's called an abstract method, is it? Okay. The class is containing an abstract method. So, where to write the implementation? Remember, somehow you need to complete the method. Where? In the subclasses. The abstract class needs to have subclasses. Implement the abstract method in the subclass. That's the idea. Okay, fine. So, that means abstract class is definitely a superclass. So, if you have an abstract class, it, 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 it can contain, it can have one or more abstract methods. Okay. As I mentioned, abstract method is a method without implementation. Okay. So, subclasses of abstract class. Just now I said that abstract class needs to have a subclass. So, that subclass will implement that abstract methods. Okay. So, let's say you have a subclass. The subclass implements all your abstract methods. Fine. Then that's, that, that subclass is a complete concrete class. So, it's possible to instantiate a subclass. That extends the abstract class. You can create an object of the subclass because you already implemented the abstract methods of the parent class. So, your subclass is a concrete class. So, what's the problem? You can create an object of the subclass. Fine. A subclass of an abstract class must override all the abstract methods. It's overriding because method heading is given in the abstract class, which is a superclass. And you are writing a subclass and you implement the abstract method. So, that means you are overriding the abstract method. It's not mandatory to have any abstract method inside abstract class. You can create an abstract class. It doesn't matter that you need to or you should have an abstract method. It doesn't matter. You, you call it as an abstract class, but it may not have any abstract methods. Java will not give any compilation errors. It's allowed in Java to declare a subclass of an abstract class also abstract. What does it mean? Uh, let's say you have a, let's say you have an abstract class, let's say you have a class that is called employee, I, I just write employee, let's say this is an abstract class, okay, that means it contains certain abstract methods, now I'm creating an, uh, another class, subclass of employee. Let me call it as a uh, part-time employee PE. I told you a few minutes ago, abstract class may contain one or more abstract methods. This one, this one. You need to implement that abstract method in the subclass. So, which is the subclass here? Part-time employee here. I can make it as an abstract not necessary i need to implement the abstract methods here i may even create another subclass let me call it hourly employee i can implement that here the abstract methods here 
So let me call it hourly employee. This is the concrete class. This is possible. This is what mentioned in the last point. So it's allowed in Java to declare a subclass of an abstract class. This one subclass of an abstract class also an abstract. That's possible. It doesn't matter. It's not an issue. Okay, let's see one example, an abstract class and then a subclass and then how it's going to execute it. Let's see. You have a class called shape. I told you if you if you if you if you see that this is an abstract class, you need to declare it as an abstract. You need to use the keyword. Can you see here public abstract class shape? So if you don't write abstract, you will have error message. And I mentioned abstract class can have one or more abstract methods. So where is the abstract method here? Can you see here? Get, de, get area is a method. It has one parameter. Fine. It returns a double value. Can you see an abstract keyword here? And at the end there is a semicolon here. Method ends here. I told you abstract method is a method with no implementation that means no body there is no body here method body is missing that is the abstract method whenever you have an abstract class or abstract method use the keyword abstract can you see abstract here also abstract so the class has another abstract method which is get perimeter it has one parameter it returns a value and it is also an abstract method. Can you see the semicolon at the end? You need to put a semicolon at the end here. Okay. And the access modifier is protected. You know the meaning of protected. We studied it. And I mentioned that you need to implement the abstract method in any of the child class. Okay. So I create a class called circle extends shape. It's a child class. Can you see I implement the get area method? The abstract method is get area with one parameter. Can you see here? It's implemented here. And also get perimeter, another method, it's implemented here. Okay, fine. And there is another class called square extends shape. Fine. It is another child. Okay, then like a shape is on the top. This is the super class abstract class it has two children one is the circle and another one is square two children so this is a subclass of shape and this is a normal concrete class so square is a class extends a shape shape is an abstract class you need to implement the abstract methods, the two of them, get area, get perimeter. Okay, so that's the idea. And now, a class which is declared as an abstract is called as abstract class. Okay, that abstract class can have abstract methods and concrete method. Non-abstract method means concrete methods. Okay. Abstract class has to be extended. It should have a subclass. That is the meaning. An abstract class needs to have a subclass. Fine. And that subclass needs to implement the abstract method. So not necessary the subclass. Maybe the sub subclass. I mean the child class or the grandchild class. Something like that. Abstract class cannot be instantiated. That means you cannot create an object of this abstract class object of the abstract class okay fine this is another example phone is a class which is an abstract class can you see abstract class contains abstract methods what are they method receive call send message there is no body you have a semicolon here can you see and the method is declared with the keyword abstract. So both of them are abstract methods. Okay. So a concrete class which extends the abstract class. It needs to have the definition of those two abstract methods. Like receive call, send message. 
okay if the subclass of this of the uh, phone if the subclass of this abstract class is a concrete class then it should have the definition i mean the method body of the receive call method for the send message method so the definition is actual implement internal details that is the implementation of the method that is the meaning definition when i say definition it's the implementation of the method the body of the method i mean the functionality of the method okay anyone who needs to access the functionality like i want to call this method receive call method to do the action or i want to call this send message method how how are you going to do normally when you call a method you use an object is it object name dot method name so that object that object using the phone object pointing to the subclass okay phone object pointing to the subclass i mean to say the upcasting phone object pointing to the subclass refers the subclass upcasting okay let's see one example okay abstract methods let's see the abstract method you know that abstract method is a method which is declared using the keyword abstract and it it doesn't contain the implementation the implementation is missing you don't have the method body so that method is called abstract method so implementation is not required only the method signature is required can you see only the method signature the this is method signature at the end you have the semicolon remember okay abstract method cannot be a private method you can use public protected but it can't be a private because do you remember recall the idea when the abstract class contains abstract method the implementation needs to be done in this subclass when it is a private so how can you access it can you get the idea access allow public method protected method package method fine these are the possible access modifiers for your abstract methods except private concrete class when a class contains no abstract method so that's a complete class concrete means complete full full class okay so any concrete class which extends the abstract class should provide the implementation of the abstract methods okay let's say you have a class called phone which is an abstract class and i have a subclass which is samsung it is a concrete class samsung extends phone so samsung class needs to have the implementation for send message also the receive call can you see the implementation the method is complete now the method is complete now so this is a concrete class so how are you going to call that methods abstract methods like in the example we have sent message is a method receive call is a method so how i'm going to call that methods of course from the test class from the main method so how how this we will see one example when you need to access the method the functionality that means the method uh it, you need to call the method using the phone object pointing to the subclass phone object pointing to the subclass can you see the main method i have a phone object pointing to the subclass who is the subclass samsung class is the subclass can you see the upcasting here child class assigned to the parent class I mean child class object is assigned to the parent reference okay child to the parent okay then so what is the object here samsung small case don't confuse this and this are same they are different s capital letter s small letter s capital letter samsung is the class name s small letter is the object name okay so you call with the object object name dot method name fine another method object name dot method name okay fine so in this way you call those methods so you have a abstract class which has abstract methods that's the super class create a child class 
and that assume that it, it may be a abstract class or it may be a concrete so in our example the child class samson is a concrete class so i need to have the implementation of those abstract methods and in the main method i call those methods how i'm calling those method using the phone object which points the subclass okay Let's assume that a class contains constructors, uh, I mean the abstract class. Abstract class having constructor, is it allowed to have a constructor? Okay, maybe instance uh, variables. Can I have instance variable in the abstract class? Obviously, yes. So, an abstract class can have fields. I mean the instance variables. No problem. Obviously, it needs to have an abstract method, compulsory. It's not compulsory, I mean to say abstract class can have one or more abstract methods. Even if you don't have an abstract method, no issues, by the way. An abstract class can have concrete methods. What are the concrete methods? A method with the implementation. Okay, a complete method. An abstract class can have constructors. Okay, that is also not an issue. And sometimes we, we, we may have a main method also, okay. Uh, that one we will see later. Okay, let's see one example. Vehicle is a class which is an abstract class. It has an instance variable, okay, no problem. It has a constructor, no parameter constructor. And these two are abstract methods. There is no implementation plus it is declared using the keyword abstract. And I have a concrete method. So, an abstract class can have a combination of many things. It can have instance variables, constructors, a concrete method, abstract method, anything. Okay, fine. Okay, I have a uh, child class that is the concrete class. The two-wheeler is a child class of the vehicle which is a concrete class. When I say concrete, this class should provide the implementation of the parent abstract method okay then so it needs to provide the implementation of the abstract methods so previous slide i show you the two abstract methods and here is the implementation okay this is what you can say overriding i'm overriding is it so this is what i have before i mentioned that child class is overriding okay fine and now we have a vehicle class and then we have the two-wheeler class. Let's see the test class. So, how I'm going to call the methods, the start method and the stop method. So, in the main method, I create, can you see that, vehicle object pointing to the subclass, upcasting. And now, I assign the value to the instance variable. You know, in the previous class, I show you the, sorry, in the previous slide, I show you the abstract class which contains some um, instance variable. So, I assign a value to that instance variable. This is the value to the instance variable. And now, I call that two methods, start and stop, because it's, it's implemented in the child class. So, I can call those methods, even the display method. We have a concrete method in the abstract class. That's the display method. Okay then, so it works and this is the output given in the side for your reference. And now, when you will expect an error, when what type of error you may do is, let's assume that you have a class vehicle and it's a normal class. I didn't write any abstract. Can you see that? I just write class vehicle. So that means it is a concrete class. When it is a concrete class, it should have all concrete methods. Can you see here? I have an abstract method. It may raise a compilation error. Because abstract class contains abstract method. Concrete class cannot have an abstract method. Okay, so that is your rule number one. If a class has one or one method declared abstract, then that class should be an abstract class. Fine. So, this is the solution. You need to put abstract in front of the class.
Rule number two for the abstract classes. Whenever we are extending any uh, abstract class, let's say you write an abstract class and I am creating a subclass for that abstract class. Maybe you can provide the implementation of those abstract methods. Okay. In that subclass, let's say that subclass is also an abstract class. Never mind. Create another subclass, sub subclass and provide the implementation in that sub subclass. It's fine. So that is possible. Okay then. So let's say you have vehicle. Vehicle is an abstract class. It has an abstract method start. In the child class of vehicle, which is two wheeler, it show it gives me the implementation because two wheeler is a concrete class. So I need to provide the implementation. If two wheeler is an abstract class, you you can do the def uh, the definition of the start method in the subclass of two wheeler. Okay. And now, can you see this? You can have the two wheeler as an abstract class. No problem. If it is an abstract class, I can, I, I will, ex, I will implement this start method in the subclass of two wheeler. Okay. I have an abstract, another abstract method. So the start and then now we have stop. All those methods start and stop will be implemented in the subclass of two wheeler. Okay, fine. Okay, let's assume, ignore this uh, slide, uh, ignore this side, the orange color, the uh, orange, it's light orange color class, which is two wheeler. Just uh, assume this green color uh, classes. You have an abstract class called vehicle. It has an abstract method. You have a, a class called two wheeler. It extends vehicle. So it's a subclass of vehicle. It's a concrete class. Fine. I told you already, when, it, when the subclass is a concrete class, it should have the implementation for the abstract methods of the superclass, which is vehicle. So, what is the abstract method of vehicle? Start. Do you see start in this two-wheeler? There is no start in the two-wheeler. The definition of start method is missing in the two-wheeler. It is a problem. So, you will have a compilation error. Because subclass is a concrete class. If it is a concrete class, it should define the abstract method of the superclass. So here, this is problem. But if you still want to keep it as a... Okay, for example, I want to make this two-wheeler, the subclass of vehicle, the two-wheeler, as an abstract, very simple. You write an abstract, then it will be fine. You won't have any error messages. I did not implement the start method here. There is no implementation of start method. Fine. Because two-wheeler is an abstract class. So having an abstract method uh, start and then stop doesn't matter. I will implement it in the subclass of two-wheeler. This is rule number two. Rule number three for the abstract classes. I mentioned previous slides, in the previous slides, abstract class cannot be instantiated. That is, you cannot create an object of the abstract class because it's not a concrete class. Okay, then it will give compilation error. If you try to do so, you will have an error message. Okay, it will have a compilation error. Let's say here, vehicle is a class, it's an abstract class because it has some abstract methods. And I try to create an object of vehicle class. I will get compilation error. Okay, as a conclusion. Okay, as a conclusion for the Java abstract class, an abstract class must be declared with abstract keyword. It can have one or more abstract methods plus concrete methods. Abstract class cannot be instantiated. That means you can't create an object of the abstract class. Abstract class can have final methods. Fine, no problem. It can have constructors. 
it can have static methods it can have instance variables it can have a concrete method abstract methods fine it cannot have a private uh, abstract method okay abstract method what is an abstract method it has no implementation no method body always end with the semicolon keep it in mind there is a semicolon at the end of the signature method signature and it has to be overridden in the subclass so abstract class must be extended and then this the abstract method needs to be overridden in the subclass and class has to be declared abstract to have an abstract method a concrete class cannot have an abstract method remember so this is up uh, this is the um, idea of abstract class